Hi, this is Monica. Welcome to Suds and Bees. Uh, today's soap was inspired by my friend slash neighbor who uh, makes stained glass. So I wanted to make something similar in the form of a soap. And in order to accomplish the stained glass look, uh, we will be using uh, Premium Crystal Clear by Crafter's Choice. And all the colors uh, that I will be using today are also by Crafter's Choice um, and they all start with stained glass. Uh, there will be different colors. And if you have seen stained glass before, the glass is usually held together by some kind of border. And for the border, I will be using charcoal. So come on, let's go ahead and make it.
Hi everyone, welcome back. So I went ahead and unmolded the soap. Um, I wanted I only waited about two hours because I wanted to cut it while it was still um, kind of soft. So this is what it looks like. And all black outside and um, it does look pretty dark right now. So I'm hoping that once I cut it, um, the light will come through a little bit more and it'll look more like stained glass. Um, I am going to cut it at half an inch because I don't want it too thick so um, to give it opportunity for the light to come through a little bit more. definitely a lot softer than the last soap I cut. Oh wow, it does look nice. I don't know if you can see who's coming through the camera, but... Yeah, you can see the colors look pretty cool. I can see some of it didn't stick very well here, so I want to have to fix that um, for each individual soap. I was kind of stressed out the soap was going to be a total disaster and I was going to lose all the, lose all the product. But I think I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Aside from the ants not sticking very well, um, I'm going to have to do that manually. But it happens from time to time. And there we go. See, I lost the bottom. <laughs> so I'm going to have to fix that, but that's not a big deal. That's totally fixable. If you remember how we glued them with the soap itself, I'm going to have to melt some more soap and just glue them on. For now, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them this way so I don't keep losing pieces of soap, which is pretty hilarious. But all in all, I felt like the project was a bit of a disaster, so I'm pretty happy with the way things turned out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and keep cutting this, so I'll speed up the video. Looks like this last one also had the same problem. So I'm going to have to spend some time and give it a little TLC to clean them all up and make them all pretty. Okay, well, thank you for watching. See you next time.